What's going on? How are you doing, everybody? Uh, thanks for joining us today for our app stream again. Today is today is Sunday, actually. We're recording this a little bit earlier for you. We're super excited, as we, as we always are on these Sundays, because the last dance is coming up tonight. We're always excited about catching up with our main man, Michael Jordan, who uh, Wayne and I have been a big fan of. Um, so it turns out that we're going to do this particular app stream as a tribute to our main man, Michael Jordan. So, uh, so we're excited about that. That's right, MJ23. MJ23. We're excited about that. Um, so my name is Hansel. This guy over here Hi. is Wayne. We've yep. been doing these app streams and hopefully we'll continue to do them again. So let's dive right into it. We're going to start off by showing you the game and then, and then we'll dig into a quick little tech talk um, and then we'll actually build it for you. Here we go. Now, now you kids out there, I hope you know who that is. <laughs> yeah. If you guys don't know who that is, then get in your time machine. Michael Jordan, he's the GOAT. He's what they call the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Oh, by the way, Wayne, do we have a shout out here for, for one of our owners, maybe another one or two of our owners here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where are you? Where are you, Hansel? You're oh, okay, let's do that shout out. I'm in San Jose right now, and I'm wearing my Ultraman t-shirt for you Ultraman fans out there. But this is our San Jose school. Shout out to Dina. Uh, and Jay's on those guys over there. Where are you at, man? Folsom, California. Beautiful Folsom, California. It's lovely weather here. Actually, it's because it's not that far from, from where I actually live, and, and so I know the weather's pretty good, but um, Deepa yeah. and Folsom, California, and our, and our cover school out there. Beautiful Folsom weather. right outside of Sacramento. Actually, so, so, okay, so we got through our location ones. Actually, what I meant, what I meant was shout out to Jerry in Atlanta, and shout yeah. out to Jimmy Fran. <laughs> Even bigger. <laughs> Of doing so a they tournament. challenged us. So yeah, during the week we have this uh, workplace forum, and they gave us this challenge: could we actually do an app stream app that I was basketball can. involved? <laughs> and uh, challenge accepted. Here we I go. We so for All Jerry right. and uh, from Jimmy Tran, Jerry's out in Atlanta, and Jimmy is in Berkeley. All right. So I'm gonna play this thing, and meanwhile, Wayne, you talk the talk and give me the color. Be the Marv Albert. Oh man, weak shot, air ball, uh, weak shot, air ball, air ball. Oh air man, ball. Jordan. It's a disgrace <laughs> for no Jordan. The goat. I think it's a disgrace for Jordan. It's a disgrace. Yeah, nice heart. A little stronger though. Oh yeah. Oh, spectacular move by Jordan. Spectacular Baseball. move. I think he's on a roll now. I think he's on a roll. I, my shot clock ran out and I only scored four. So just so all you kids know, that's not how the real Jordan plays. That is not. <laughs> Every that single not. one would have gone in. All right. Maybe so when guys, he was in elementary school, but definitely not <laughs> the one we know. <laughs> this, this is what we're going to build um, for you guys today. Uh, you saw that when I, when I swiped over Jordan with my mouse, the faster I swiped over, the faster that ball went. And it also controls the direction of the ball. So that's what we're going to build today. Um, these are really cool graphics and it's totally like Jordan's on the court and you're making this awesome, uh, uh, you know, game with Jordan there on everything and everything. Um, but unfortunately, uh, it's, it's not, it's probably not the best thing to do to use Michael Jordan because there's things like, uh, like copyright rules and laws. And so I can't share this with you, but Wayne will talk to you a little bit about, uh, what copyright is about while I swap over to scratch. Wayne, yeah, so copyright. So time me two minutes. <laughs> but <laughs> Copyright is, is, yeah, it, it's all about when somebody has created something of value or they have an image of value um, and, and it's their, their, their right to own it, to ownership. And so, so really when somebody owns an image or they wrote a book or they created a, a, a logo or something, they can copyright that and that protects it from other people being able to use it. And so they use that term and it's also, you know, in business, you have to pay for the copyright privilege and the owner of the copyright, you know, needs to allow that and either, either allow it um, and get paid for it and then you can use it. And so, yeah. um, you that, know, so that when means, there's images that like means that, kids, yeah. you can't take a, you can't take a picture of Wayne's face and sell it. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's right. Cause it's so valuable, but it has to be a value. So I, I think you could probably sell that as much as you want. But something right. like Michael Jordan would be a value, right? Um, or, you know, if somebody actually wrote a software program and they want to sell it, you can't just take it and then try to sell it yourself. The idea yeah, behind copyright. So that, that's right. It's, it's the same thing for software programs as well. So that Michael Jordan picture, it's actually not Michael Jordan necessarily that owns that particular picture because he's a public figure, but it's the person who took, took the picture. The, the photographer owns it. 
That's um, right. So people actually need to give him money to use that picture. But Wayne, how's it? How's this relate to uh, computer software? What are copyright? Yeah. So, so same thing. If you write a cool program or a mobile app or something like that, I mean, you own it and you can copyright that, and so others can't copy it and then reuse it and resell it and redistribute it. And so you can, well, obviously other people, have, you've heard of these people becoming billionaires and millionaires you know, by writing great software and then selling it and using that protection. Now in the software culture though, there's this cool thing um, about called open source. I don't know if you've heard about that, but it, it, it's about sharing software for free, which that's one reason I love being a coder. It, it's kind of about the culture of it. It's so cool. Um, and people are, are very giving and they want to give their knowledge to help other people be able to build and, and code cooler software projects. And they want to do it for free. And it, it kind of- What's uh, an example big, of a free yeah. software project, Wayne? What's the biggest software project somebody might have heard of that's free? Um, let's see. Uh, GNU is one of the biggest, which started like way back in the 80s. This guy named... Uh, Richard Stallman, and he created this free operating system. And he, the idea behind it, he wanted everybody to be able to, to be able to read the source and see it and use it for free. He didn't want to make money off of it. He wanted just to better the community of software programmers. And, and that has yeah. led to what they call this GNU licensing, which is almost the opposite of copywriting. And so if, if, if software is, you know, distributed in, uh, under this GNU licensing, then it's known to be open source and free and, and that you can use it to, to write yeah, better so programs. If, uh, I don't know if anybody's heard of GNU before. One word you might have heard of is Unix or Linux. Uh, right. A lot of computers run that. Your Mac does, your Mac does run a version of it, sort of. Um, your, computer, your PC does not. Uh, but if, if you have a technical computer, you might run in Linux. And uh, that actually is uh, based on a free uh, software. So anyway. Uh, I think uh, that's enough about the free stuff. Let's uh, let's jump in uh, about uh, uh, and talk uh, and, and actually get this app built. But uh, just something for you guys to know: the word open source it has to do with uh, copywriting. And uh, you'll see uh, you'll see on the screen I've already uh, started part of the app. You'll see it's not Michael Jordan, <laughs> and you'll see it's not a stadium. That's because these are free open source sprites that were used. Open, open source. source. GNU, like that's like take GNU. Away word, guys. Yeah. After all that ramble, 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 open source. Just remember that. <laughs> yeah, open source. And GNU is all spelled right. G-N-U. So Just like it sounds, weird GNU. Thing. Yeah, yeah. But, well, there is a little funny story. The, the guy that named it, he was trying to make a recursive acronym, and he had a sense of humor. <laughs> and so it stands for GNU, not, not Unix, which is, uh, you know, pretty strange. But, uh, but yeah. Okay. If anybody got that, then you're too advanced to, to be watching this. <laughs> That's right. That is right. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Let's. Uh, so you guys saw that I made my first sprite, my cat. I made it into a basketball. So go ahead and do the same. You guys might have done that, saying "Hurry up, Hansel." So I went ahead that. <laughs> so go ahead and add that basketball. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it basketball. And let's go to the backdrop. I added this guy, which is also a sprite uh, back. Or I'm sorry, a scratch uh, backdrop that you can use, but um, the game that I made is going to go from, I'm right-handed, so I like to swipe to the right. Right, I was going to, yeah. I was going to say, don't you like it to <laughs> go left to right? About swiping left and right. Yeah. And you <laughs> saw how well, you, you know, we saw how well you were shooting left to right. We don't want to see you shoot the other way. It'd be even worse. You're like, yeah. Like, balls all over. Yeah. All right. So, so here's, here's what happened, guys. Once uh, you pick the right backdrop, which is uh, this guy, we want to flip it. So, uh, you should be able to uh, choose it and then flip horizontal. So when you flip horizontal, right. the guy goes the other side and we should be good to go. Um, so let's do it. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. We will go back to the basketball, guys. Let's go back to the basketball and to the code. Um, and let's start coding. So first, as we usually do, you see how this basketball, I'll drag it around, is humongous. A little so bit. Plan, it'll probably just be like that. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we've got to make that thing smaller. How do we do that? We're going to hit looks, go to size, take a wild guess at 40. I'm going to hit this quick size. That's tiny. Ah. Let's go 50%. Ah. All right, that's about right. What do you think? Looking about, about right. All right. Let's start coding. Yeah. Um, how's the Get speed look, Wayne? Dump, Actually, dump is... that ball. Let me see. Yaga! Yeah. <laughs> Feels so tall. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, where's the dunk contest? Oh, oh. 
Here's, here's my dunk for the day. What's up? That, was, that would have been a good entry in the dunk contest. That would have made. That would have been a winner. All right. How's the screen looking, Wayne? This is uh, looking a little bit squished to me. If I make it bigger, is this going to mess you up? How's that look? Good, good to me. Yeah, I think it's holding. That's good. There. All right. Yeah. All right. If that's holding, then let's start coding. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shoot this guy from approximately right there. Uh, I don't know where that is, but we will find out here in a second. So let's uh, let's let's it's start with by the, the free throw line. Like, by the free throw line. It's where, it is. Hey, it's, <laughs> if I just is there a free throw line free throw line block that I can use? <laughs> there should be a go to free free throw line. Yeah, we need to code that block. Um, okay, so it is right above the free throw line. So we are going to use motion, and if you remember, uh, the go to X. Y already tells you where it is. It's minus 162 minus 225 is exactly where that ball is. Yeah. So when we click link green flag, we're always just going to go back there. That's where we're going to shoot from. Now, uh, just to start things off uh, in a constant way, we are going to use two variables and we're just going to set them to a constant number. Um, two variables are uh, X speed and Y speed. So X speed is how fast it's going along the X axis, of course. And Y speed is, why are you going so fast? Yeah, why <laughs> or, are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is this code? All right, a yeah. Y is going up and down and X is left and right. So let's create two variables. Actually, we'll make brand new variables. X speed. I always like to do this. This is what's called camel case. That's a technical term mm. for you guys if you want to use that. So uh, it starts out, it's, it's made up of two words here. It starts out with a lowercase, then it goes uppercase, and then it goes lowercase. Uh, in fact, that is how the coder school is spelled. T-H-E is lower, coder yeah, is Yeah, camel case, coder <laughs> school. It's called camel case because it kind of looks like a camel. There's, it's lower up here, then there's a hump. And then if there's another word, like word, we would do that. So there's a hump, there's a hump. That's why it's called camel case. So good word for you guys to know. So let's do X speed for all sprites, and we will also make another variable called Y speed. Also for all sprites. Uh, so all speed? sprites this time is important. Yeah, why? Why? Why, why? would you ever speed? Why, why would you speed? Why? You, <laughs> you shouldn't. Will get a ticket if you, speed. you will get a ticket, so don't speed. Yeah. The kids, since you guys aren't driving yet, speed as much as you want on your bikes. <laughs> yeah. Well, on that racing game that we built the other day. That's right. That. Then you can speed as fast as you want. All right, so let's just start these variables off. So we're going to set X speed to, I actually don't know, but I'm going to take a log guess to five, and we're going to say Y speed to, I don't know, 10. Um, and so that means it's going to, when I start this thing, it's going to go uh, to the right five and up 10 is what is basically what it's going to be used for. And I'll show you how that works here in a second. Uh, so let's go forever, of course. Forever is always awesome because it's forever. It'll never stop. That's right. So <laughs> let's move the ball uh, to the right a little bit and then up a little bit. That's so we're shooting it towards the uh, towards the hoop. Um, 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 we will use motion and we will change x by uh, not by ten. By... But we'll change it by x speed. Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, but for now, of course, it's going to be five every time. But you'll see why it's important that it's a variable in a second. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing here, but we're going to do Y. Change Y by Y speed. All right, when I do this, Wayne, what's it going to do if I just run it as is? It's just going to forever keep going up and to the right, up and to the right. Up and to the right. Uh, just like the all right. the best stock market graphs, up and to the right. That's and right. That works. A great stock market graph. Whoa, see you later. Oh, and hit the ceiling and just, you know, pin yeah. itself. So in Scratch, this doesn't happen in most languages, but in Scratch, once it hits, once a, a sprite starts to go out of the screen, Scratch will stop it from going out of the screen. So that's why we still see the ball. In most languages, it would just fly off and you wouldn't see it. In Scratch, they're, they're nice to you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now well, here's what we need to do. We need to have it drop down a little bit every time. So if you guys remember the gravity ball thing that we do, we've done that so many times now that you guys should know it. <laughs> 9.8. Um, my, hey, you, my, <laughs> Wayne remembers the gravity. Gravity yeah. of Earth is 9.8 meters per second per second. Yeah, I did not, not know that. I'm not going to do that tech talk because that will bore everybody to sleep. So, yeah. so we'll keep it moving. <laughs> we'll keep the code going. <laughs> we'll keep it moving. 
All right, so we're gonna, so after we change these two guys, we're gonna change X speed by, by what, Wayne? One or minus one? Um, let's see, we need it to so drop, so I'm thinking minus one. Drop. Minus one, that's right. So that means your, well, your Y speed, you're gonna go a little bit less high every single time, and this should make it go in an arc, kind of like a real basketball, let's see. Pop how it's oh. as simple as that. See, but it's kind of a lame little drop. So we're gonna make it, let's go, see how if I go 20, what's it gonna do? It's gonna be, gonna be like I'm grandma heaving it, right? <laughs> I got the ball in both hands and whoosh, right? Yeah. If I hit go, boosh, oh, it's even higher. That's a nice little arc. Right, and so that's some good arc. So I'm gonna say, now what, all right, Wayne, what happens if I'm changing this X speed to 10? What's it gonna do now? Heading to the right pretty fast, or at least double five. Yeah. So That's right. It means I'm going to be throwing it twice as hard to the right, towards the hoop. Whoosh! Twice as hard. See how it hit the edge before it, uh, before it went down? Twice as hard. So X, that's why X speed and Y speed are important. Before we get into the uh, forever loop, X speed and Y speed tell us how hard we're launching the ball out towards the hoop. All right? And so we'll use that here in a little bit. So um, for now, we have X speed, Y speed. So so I, I can change this with my hands every time, I guess, called manually, like, right? And every time I change yeah. it, it shoots the ball to a different place. But that's not a fun game. <laughs> yeah. not, that's a totally stupid game. <laughs> yeah. All right. So instead, we're going to do the swiping thing. All right. We're going to use we're going to use a swipe because it's really hard to swipe exactly right. We're going to use a swipe to determine how uh, where where the ball goes, what angle the ball is going at. So let's create another sprite. In, um, in our Jordan game, that was Michael Jordan. In this yeah. game, it is not Jordan. <laughs> yeah, well, they, don't, game, they didn't, you know what? They didn't pay the owner of the image to put them in here. And there you go. That's right. That's right. Now, if you guys want to donate to us like $5,000, then we'll go buy that. <laughs> we'll go buy that well, image and we'll put then, it in this app. Then I'll take a picture of Hansel shooting a free throw and we will sell that to you. That's all right, and I'll pocket that $5,000. <laughs> That's right. Okay, what am I looking for? Oh, okay, so I need to, let's, let's hit people. Let's, um, cool. we found a pretty cool one of Hannah shooting. Where's Hannah shooting? Yeah, like somebody athletic. Um, Some of, there's, yeah, what, there's this girl, girl with the basketball that was in mid-shot here somewhere. Maybe under sport? Oh, under yeah, sport? sports, nice. Oh, they yeah, there she the is. Well, um, oh, that's yeah, cool. there's Hannah. Uh, yeah, okay. well, right. that's software so gonna, for you. Open source software. They can change it on you at any time. Oh, that's right. What's the most famous open source software that the kids would know? Yeah, Scratch. That, <laughs> we're on it. It is awesome. Wait, and is it, it is open source. source. Not sure it's, open source. it's definitely free. Is it open source? I'm not positive. I think it is. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, different meaning, but for you guys for now, essentially open source. It's is free. free. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> it's, it's, free. <laughs> it's a beautiful, like, anything free is an awesome thing, right? Free food. All right. After. That's right. Free is awesome. Okay, so it looks like she's actually running after the ball and about to kick it, which is not what we want to do. Um, so the way Scratch does it, it actually has three costumes here for you. We're going to choose this last one because the last one is about. So let's go ahead and delete these first two. We yeah. will use a basketball one, but I'm going to delete this basketball because we already have a basketball. We already so, have a better one. Yeah. This one is yeah. this one doesn't move. It's part of the picture. Which is lame. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't Ours move, it's shoot. lame. So click it's this lame. thing, which is a little eraser. This eraser will erase the ball. Be, be careful Ooh. not to touch the hand. Yeah. And there we go. It's gone. Um cool. So we are also going to should we rotate it now? Okay, so let's just Probably. uh let's go back to code. Um you know why I said Mac? Because I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> I did it before, but I forgot how to rotate this version. Let me see. Oh, right rotate. there in the upper, up above the forty. Yeah, I think that one. No, uh, this is the this is the undo. Oh, um, I. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so you click this arrow and click curve. No, that's not how you do it. Or you know what? You can just rotate it, it on the canvas. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, there it is. Okay, so you click this arrow, and then you got to draw out a square. We're spending a lot of time doing something that's in Yeah. <laughs> and then I here's a little like handle at the bottom. <laughs> here's a little okay. handle at the bottom. All right. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Now that's all the time we had left for the app stream. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Now we can rotate. We rotate. Okay. We rotate. Now we can actually drag her. We will drag her down a little bit out of the screen so it looks like she's taking a shot. From oh. The three point oh, line. She's so. Steph Curry. Throwing down with Steph Curry. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, by the way, Wayne, I actually called Steph Curry and I have him on the line here. He's going to join us in about five minutes. So okay. I just I'll be waiting. Over in Africa. He lives right. Yeah. He's my next door neighbor. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, well, we'll all be waiting on him. Yeah, that's true. I'll be waiting. I'm going to yeah. sit right here until I hear his voice. All right. Let's see. What are we doing now? Okay. So, so let's move her over a little bit because the way we do it, we have to swipe through her sprite. That's how we that's how we figure out how we're shooting and how fast we're shooting. And so we need a little bit of room on, on this side of her. So move her a little bit in and kind of down here. All right, so what do we do? Okay, so as always, we want to, we want to check for the green flag. And this time we will have a forever loop that, forever loop, that checks to see if, uh touching mouse pointer all right, all right when so you swipe through fast. right yeah so when you yep. swipe so through. It's always checking for if i'm touching the most mouse pointer so if I'm, if i'm touching from going this direction or this direction it actually doesn't know as long as i'm touching uh it's gonna it's gonna do this code inside so what we're gonna do guys is and you can you can see if you can figure this out so uh as soon as i touch her right hand right here the code is going to start looking at where the mouse pointer is so what I want to do is I want to wait, I don't know, like a millionth of a second, like just not too long. And then, and then I want the code to check again where my, my mouse pointer is. So, so Wayne, how long does it take for you to snap your fingers like that? <laughs> a millionth of a second? Point two, point two, point two. It's exactly point, point two. two. You got it down. <laughs> I think so. I mean, I, right. I've measured my snap before. You measured using your super watch. All right. It's point two. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is as soon as we touch your hand, we're gonna wait 0.2 seconds, and then we're gonna check where the ball, where, where the mouse pointer actually is. Right. All right, so mouse pointer, mouse pointer. Oh, okay, and the whole point of this is we want to set X speed and Y speed. So the farther I am away in 0.2 seconds, the faster that speed is, right? That should make sense. That means if I'm swiping really oh. fast, then that X speed and that Y speed is moving. So the ball is flying right. out of her hands. Um, so let's see. I would want to set. Where is my set? All right. So let's do X yeah. speed first. Set. Set X speed to. So if if we originally touched. Uh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, okay. All right. So we're just going to do this in in a very sort of ghetto way. So um, the sprite. This sprite actually has a position. Her position is minus 148 and 134. I don't know where that is. Might be right in the middle of her belly button, maybe somewhere around here. Right. But Probably. what we're going to do is we are going to set X speed to the mouse position minus her position. Oopsie. So let's say, let's say I did a swipe and my mouse is right here. We're going to subtract this X position from her X position. So like this distance. So... Where do we get that from? All right, so here we Here's go. So under sense, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so under sensing, if you guys haven't used this before, this mouse X is actually a variable that said that that holds uh, the X position of the mouse. So X position, X position. <laughs> <laughs> that was a video chop there. Uh, X position right. of the mouse minus uh, position of our sprite here. So Hannah, all right, minus Hannah's position which in the sprite is under motion called exposition. That's right. All right, so, uh, so I know our basketball is gonna go flying, but so I'm gonna go to the basketball and, and take off that real quick, just so it's not distracting. So now when that click is clicked, the basketball is not gonna do anything. But what it's gonna do is gonna set our X speed. So let's just click it. Um, so right now, see how that's glowing? That means it's running. It's running so fast, it's glowing. That's right, it's on fire. So, <laughs> so it's so it's waiting so it's waiting for me to touch as soon as i touch hannah it'll wait two seconds and then it'll it'll do the subtraction so let's see point two point two yep so see how x speed is now 137 now if i do it really slowly x speed is only oh. 19 it's four <laughs> oh, see now if i go too fast now why doesn't that oh. work right? 
It no. is. Um, yeah. Why is that? So it's is it the, is the wait too long or something before it actually? I I think actually it's just literally that sometimes you go too fast and the computer's not fast enough to. To actually, well, that's kind that of you touch the sprite. It just goes over oh. the sprite too fast. Only someone with like Bruce Lee quickness could do that and be faster than a computer. Ample. That's right. So you, you need to, you know. Yeah. You know, you know, my middle name is the Bruce. That's <laughs> right. Bruce Lynn. So. <laughs> well, I mean, you just proved it right there. You were <laughs> That's right. And the computer could actually even keep up with you. That's you right. Know, it's too fast. All right. So you guys saw how, so the faster you move this thing, the faster this thing goes. All right. So we're going to, let's hit stop. Let's do the same thing for uh, Y. Uh, duplicate. Put that guy right there, and we're gonna say Y speed set to not mouse X, but mouse Y. Mouse Y. There you go. Right on. Not X position. Yeah. But Y position. There you go. How? All right. So now we should get both values. Let's just let's just check it just to make sure. Yeah, yeah that looks about right. Doesn't it? Or does it? There we go. Oh, there you go. Do a super slow one. There we go. Ah, there That's we about go. as slow as I can go. 2261, yeah. So the funny thing is actually right. if you go the other way, it'll still do it. It'll go, it'll go negative. And you'll see when you guys play your own game, you'll see that that totally messes up the ball and has it flying in all random directions. Uh, you can fix it, but we're not going to fix it as far as this app stream. But for now, we're just going to assume you got to swipe to the right. <laughs> Make it positive. Yeah, okay. makes sense. Here we go. Let's see. All right. So now we got some big numbers. These are really big numbers. But so X speed and Y speed, if you guys remember, in the basketball, uh, that's what we set the original to. But look, the original was 7 and 15. Here, I'm just going to click yeah. this. Well, those seem really big. Don't see they? that? Yeah, exactly, right? So 7 and 15. But if we did like 100 and 150, it'd go flying off the screen. It's going to just um, shoot way off. Yeah. So let's see. Okay, so let's actually try that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Uh, so we don't need to set X speed and Y speed anymore, right? Why, why is that, Wayne? Why do, we know, why do we not need to set these two anymore? We're setting that when you swipe through the- uh, That's right, the swiper the is setting it. The, the swiper. We do need to go there, but here, here's what we're gonna do. Instead of doing the win flag clicked, what's a good way to do this? Wayne, you got, you got an idea off the top of your head? Uh, oh, what's a good idea of when to go here? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, what's another word for this? Duplicate, <laughs> clone. <laughs> clone, oh Everybody yeah, Everybody yeah. loves clones. Clone. Oh, that's I should have right. said, I should have said attack of the. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> clone. Attack of the that clone, back, okay. Yeah, that's right, that was back in episode one and two. Got the clone. So <laughs> Classic clones, we love the clones. All right, so what we're gonna do is once, once we've done this stuff and we have set our X and our Y speed, we are going to create a clone of the basketball. I don't think we've done that before. So uh, create a clone of, not myself, because that would create another Hannah. We don't want another Hannah running around. We want another basketball. Cool. So this one is a little bit different. I don't think we've done this yet, Wayne, I don't think. But what, yeah. we do, what we're doing here is we're using these two variables, which are called global variables, basically meaning that anybody in the program can see what these variables are. We're gonna use these variables to communicate between sprites. Um, and in, in fact, in this case, we are gonna clone, not ourselves, but we're gonna clone somebody else, which is a little bit weird. Can you really clone somebody else? I think that's a bug well, in script. <laughs> yeah, that is weird, that is weird. You shouldn't be able to, Wayne, I'm just gonna clone you from me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You shouldn't be able to do that. I mean, talk but, about weird copyright infringement. I mean, come on. <laughs> But Scratch is magical, so I guess you can clone whatever you want. So <laughs> we're going to create a clone of the basketball. And when we do that, we are going to do when I start as a clone, it's going to go to that position. And then it's going to change by, it's going to go this fast. So let's see if I can get this going right now. I hit the green flag. Let's see what happens. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that was just off the screen. Into see, the here it is right here. So, so that's what I was talking about before. See how X speed is, is 56, Y speed is still going down because we keep changing it. So 56 yeah. is way too high. Um, so, so we have to, in computer speak, I guess I would say, what word would I use? Normalize, I guess we would normalize it. Yeah. So, so whereas 
uh, the X number that you come up with is like 50 and 100 and 200. The number we actually want is something more like five or 10, just to make it so the basketball is more realistic. So you gotta divide it by 10 or something. That's you know? right, it's called math. Yeah. It's called math. Is. That's why I named my son Mathis because- Yeah, math. Math, <laughs> math is, is how you really pronounce it, I guess. Math That's is. That's right. Math is Mathis. Hey, math that, could be a Mathis. that could be a recursive joke right there. <laughs> there you go. That is a recursive something. Okay, so here we go. So instead of setting x speed to mouse x minus x position, which is like 100, we want to take that 100 and make it more like 10-ish. So let's just divide, right? That's the fastest way to get a number down. So the bigger that number is, it'll still get bigger and bigger the faster you swipe, but it won't be like 100 or 200. It'll be more like 10 or 20. So let's just divide this whole thing by, I don't know, 10. You, can, you guys yeah. can do five. You can do whatever. I think 10 was the right number when I was teaching it. to work out. pretty well, yeah. Yeah, so let's try this, stick that there. So both the X and Y need that same dealio. All right, now let's just test it and see what happens. <coughs> ah, okay. Ah, huh. Reasonable. <laughs> Gotta go through Wait. a little faster. What's it, what's it, oh. Oh, that's pretty lame. Oh, well, why is always <laughs> going down? <laughs> okay, so that's kind of weak. So let's just go y divided by five. Let's see if that's yeah. Right. Why is too fast? There we go. Whoa, I like Look that. Look at that. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I like that though. <laughs> All right, that's close enough. We can mess with it a little bit um, in a, in a little bit. Um, but for now, let's let's make some updates here. So uh, what we want to do is the basketball should probably start from our hand. So the best, the quickest, easiest way to do that in Scratch is the real basketball, which is down here in the corner, by the way, guys. I'm just going to stick that in her hand. And if I do that uh, and go to motion, we will see that it has a new value for X here. In ours, it's one four, negative 147, negative 49. Kids in yours, it might be a little bit different. It probably will be a little bit different. Yeah. So what we want to do is when it starts as, as a clone, we want to have it start in her hand. And her hand just happens to be right there. Now remember that this basketball is the original guy. So he's, he's not a clone, he's the original guy. So he's always gonna be there. So even when you take a shot, it'll be right there. <laughs> Which is a little bit weird, but hey. Yeah. Sometimes it looks weird when we do a half minute or half hour app. <laughs> That's just what happens. Um, that is just what happens. All right, so also when it hits the ground, I wanna just clear it out. So, hmm, what is the bot, what is the ground? The ground is negative 167. Yeah. See how I know, guys? I'm dragging the basketball down here, and it tells me and what y it is. Right. So I'm going to say if it hits one. Uh, OK, so I'm going to do a repeat until. And you tell me, Wayne, where I'm going to end up putting this. So if I do repeat until. Yeah. Repeat until y is less than negative 160 or 167. Exactly. Yeah. And what's so, that going to do? Okay, and where, where do I actually put this, Wayne? So where do you want to put the original? Um, I guess you want to just, uh, you could just hide it somewhere, right? Or, or send it back to her hand. Oh, I'm just going to. So, okay, so instead of going forever, I'm just going to go until it. So, what this does is because we have this gravity going, it's oh, going to hit I down see. here at some point. Yeah, it's going to hit down here at some point. And when it does, let's just kill it. Let's just delete itself because this is a clone, remember? Right, right. So, just, uh, yeah, delete this clone. So, it's going to keep moving here, like going up and to the right, up and to the right, down and to the right until it goes below the floor and then it'll delete itself, right? That's what it should do. So it should oh, yeah. just disappear. Should just disappear. Boom, oh, that looks great. Hey, that's perfect. Oh, that looks perfect. Okay, so now you, you guys remember when I said that if you do it multiple times, it makes the balls weird. Check this out. Whoa. Yeah, that looks really <laughs> weird. Unless you're the globe trotters, kind of you're trying to do a little bit of a Harlem globe trotter trick. Whoa. And why? Why is that, Wayne? You want to take a guess at why that is? I think you're just because it's. Creating a new clone every time you're touching the uh, the sprite, right? And so right. you know it's going through it and creating multiples before uh, before they disappear. 
That's right. And, but the reason why it's all going in lockstep, they're all like, they're all moving up and down at the same time is because it's, they're all using X speed and Y speed. And the global, yeah, yeah they're all global variables. So it doesn't right. matter. Every single clone is keyed off of those same global variables. That's right. So that's how guys, you can, if you want to communicate between sprites or between whatever you can, you could use one global variable and everything's looking at that same global variable. So if I launch one ball super fast, but the next ball is really slow, that next ball is going to read that same variable and start going uh, slower as well. That's why it looks so weird like that. All right. So I think that is most of it. Oh, okay. So one thing we could do is this backboard. I feel like we really should bounce off this backboard, shouldn't we? <laughs> we should probably. Should I mean, I guess off. by definition, that's what a backboard does. <laughs> so we better do it. All right. So um, here's what we're going to do, guys. We are going to do some pretty manual labor here. We're not going to do super math, but what we're going to do is I'm going to take this ball. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this ball. And uh, so in Sprite, in, in Scratch, I can move the ball around. And again, it shows you where it's at. And that's why it's important. So I'm going to put the ball up here to the top of the backboard. Um, and so I know at the top, top of the backboard, if it, if it, gets anywhere around here, I need to get it out. I need to bounce it backwards. So we are going to do an if statement to check for that. Uh, so before we change, let's see, here we go. The first thing we do in this loop, oopsie. Oopsie, there we go. All right. We are gonna check for whether we have hit the backboard. So the backboard is, yeah. Okay. So let's just do it this way for now. So we're going to check to see if X position is greater than, where's this thing at? 111. 111. Actually, that looks like behind the back where I'm going to do it right there. One, 99. Yeah. If X position is greater than 99, so meaning if it's over here, if it thinks it's over here or should be going over there, it actually should bounce that way. So in order to make it go the other way, all we have to do is take X speed and make it from positive to negative. All right, this is generally how you would make a physics ball work, but this is like the oversimplified version. So because we're only shooting free throws, I'm only gonna bounce it backwards. So I'm just gonna say, if this happens, I'm going to set um, X speed, oops, set X speed to, um, I gotta make it negative. So whatever it is at this point, if it's five, if it's 10, if it's three, I wanna make it, Negative five, negative 10. Yeah, negative. make it its, its same value, right? But negative. Same value, but negative. So the way you do that, that is math, guys. And that should be simple math that hopefully you guys know. What, what do I multiply by to make it negative? Is it two, Wayne? Or is it negative two? Or is it neither? <laughs> negative one, I think. <laughs> negative do it. one. Did you have to pull out your calculator? Is it negative one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. It is indeed negative one. I did pull out my calculator, and you're right. <laughs> it's negative one. All Indeed. right, so x speed to x speed times negative one. And that, you can't even see that dot, but that's an asterisk. Encoding asterisk means times. Times. <laughs> okay, so if I do this, anytime it'll, it's past 99, it should bounce back. Now, not just the backboard, but like anywhere down here. Let's just see if that works. Right, right. Cool. Doing hey look at that. Oh, it actually looks like it's yeah. bouncing. Of course it's bouncing down it here. It's bouncing, too, so. but yeah, yeah. So I think we need to make it where we look at the y value if we don't want it to bounce underneath it. Exactly. So so we, we want to make sure it's bouncing only if it's between here and here. Yeah. So Wayne, use your use your magical memory skills and memorize these two numbers or just write them down. Yeah. 152. <laughs> 152 and Let's see, right about, let's go. Why is it not here. changing? Here 93, 93. Right. Remember those two numbers. So guys, what we're gonna do is we have to make sure that y, not, not only is X greater than 99, but Y has to be between, what was it? 152, 152 and 93. And 93, all right. So if we do that, then that's basically the backboard. So if this, then, so we're going to have a gigantic operating condition here. It's going to look pretty big once we get done with it. Um, so it's got to be, we're going to do and, two ands, right? Um, so. Yeah, unless there is an in-between. <laughs> oh, is there an in-between? <laughs> I 
I don't no. know. I've <laughs> looked at so many different things lately, but yeah, I guess there isn't. All right. So if it's that, and actually we might need some more ands. Let's see if Y position, oopsie. That's right. That's right. I need an operator is, okay. Well, what, give me the numbers, Wayne. 152, less that's than right. 152 and greater than, and greater than 93. Greater than 93. All right. So you guys might have the same exact numbers, but you should also check on your own with using your basketball to see what these values are here. Um, so let's see. Why, 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 why? All right. Now this should look pretty realistic. So now this is a pretty big statement. Check out that if statement. That's pretty monstrous. Yeah. Look how wide that thing is. Um, if you were doing normal coding, that would be nothing. Sometimes you have these huge if statements, but in Scratch, yeah. it just builds it straight off to the side and it looks really wonky. Um, all right, cool. So all three have to be true. So that means it should only bounce right around here. Uh, because if it's down here, then the Y position won't be in between these two, right? And if it's over, and if it's over here, then the X position won't be greater than 99. So it has to be right here to, to match all these conditions. Let's try it. Uh, this is our fake ball or our original ball. We'll just toss it to the whoopsie. We'll toss it to the side here. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, okay. Here Whoa, we go. you right. did your thing go. again. You did. Oh, all right. I'm just gonna throw it. Okay, so that was good. Yeah, board. that's perfect. That's perfect. Because now, can, you know. can I ever hit the backboard? Let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. All right, nice. so it works. So when you hit backboard, apparently it does bounce back. Okay, so that's, that's basically all of the ball physics that we're gonna do. There's a lot more that you could do, but that's all we're gonna do here. But we gotta make this thing into a game where it's, uh, you actually get to get scored on a shot clock. So we are going to have to detect if the ball goes in the basket. Now there's a bunch of ways to do it in a complicated way, but the easiest way is to put, just put a little sprite right here um, and to check to see if the ball touches the sprite. And if the ball touches the sprite, boom, you get your two points. Or maybe we should be three points. I don't know. She might be shooting a three-pointer. That's true. That's kind of a three-pointer. We need the ref to come out. Steph, what do you think, man? Yeah. Oh, okay. Two-pointer? Okay. Is he on yet? Is he on? <laughs> oh, is he on Steph hold? Is right he's yeah, okay. I thought so. He's kind of <laughs> shy, right though. He, did, he just doesn't want to stick his face in front of the camera. That's, That's right. He's camera shy, yeah. Yeah, because then he knows everybody would mob, mob my house and try to get his autograph. So he just, he's Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so guys, let's, uh, we're going to do a paint. We're just going to draw a little uh, rectangle that is, I guess, per I guess it doesn't matter what color it is. Yeah. Right. That's a big old rectangle. So I guess you can start it at that size. What's the easiest way to do is go to the code and, and do the using the looks. I'm going to set the size to 70%, click it, and make it a little bit smaller. We're going to make our hoop a little bit bigger just to, yeah. So anytime yeah. the ball touches that thing, two points. Because I've learned that it's really hard to shoot these things. <laughs> so yeah, the, bigger, the bigger that thing is, the better. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. we've been watching it. We, we believe you. We believe yeah, you. <laughs> right. Very All right, nice. so I'm getting, uh, I don't think we need to see these X speed and Y speed things anymore. So let's go to variables and click those off. But what we do want to do is uh, we want to score. Um, so we're going to change this my variable because this actually isn't doing anything. We're going to use this variable, but we're going to rename it. Why should we rename it, Wayne? So that we know what it means and why right. it's being used. Yeah. That's right. If you call it my variable, you'll look at it and be like, what am I using it for? I have no idea. In this case, we're using it for the score. So click that bad boy and you'll see it right here. So that's the score. Right. That you'll always see what your score is at that time. Um, and in fact, I guess we can just go ahead and keep score. Okay. So all we have to do is, all right, whenever you do a score, what's the, what's the thing we always forget, Wayne? We always forget to do this every time when we do a score or something like that. Reset it back to zero. <laughs> That's right. We always okay. forget to initialize it. It's yeah, called initializing, yeah. kids. Meaning That's when you right. start the program, you got to set it to something. If you forget to set it to something, it throws you off, especially in Scratch, because yeah. Scratch... And especially if you're the second player to play the game, because then it's <laughs> like, why is my score already 13? That's right. So start the score at zero. And then all we have to do is do a forever loop. 
and check to see inside the inside the binary frequency. logic binary logic binary logic binary logic yeah yep um it's also called boolean logic right yeah. why, why is it called boolean logic well i think it was invented around halloween when they're like boo <laughs> <laughs> that sounds Actually, right i don't i don't boolean yeah, that logic. sounds right boolean <laughs> logic very scary logic yeah <laughs> very scary okay. <laughs> well, you just scared me right then. But I know. Um, so okay, so so I guess since we're talking about Boolean, I guess we have to say why. So Boolean also means uh, 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 yes or no, true or false. So in computer programming, Boolean is a type, and is true or false. I think the guy's name actually was Bool. I think B O O L E. Yeah, I think it was Bool. Yeah, there's that probably Boo. I'm sure right. it's Boo. <laughs> I'm Boo. sure it's Boo, and it was very <laughs> scary, and you know. But yeah, I think it was bool and uh, but binary because binary is zero or one. It, it's just similar, so they That's use right. it as synonyms on it. Yes, as opposed to non-binary, which which is interesting. I actually have a child who is non-binary. Binary like male or female. My, one That's of right. my children is actually neither male or female. They identify as neither. Interesting, right? Non-binary. There you go. Non-binary. This is binary yeah. logic as opposed to non-binary logic. <laughs> That's true. When that <laughs> becomes a, maybe that'll become a coding term as well. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So we're going to set the change. We're going to change the uh, score by how many points should we get? I'm thinking three. Think. Is it three. a three? Three. three. <laughs> it's a three. All right. So uh, um, the score should change every time we start this thing. If we hit this thing, we get three points. Let's see. It is, but I should probably get like five points. It's so hard to hit. <laughs> it is really hard to hit. Oh, come on. Oh, it was so high, it didn't even hit oh. the backboard. Yes, <laughs> I got 18 <laughs> points. How did I get 18 points? Were you watching? <laughs> Actually, try that again, because that seems wrong. <laughs> but, okay, somebody, we have to watch the score. Why, is, why did that have yeah. 18 points? I'm going to watch just when it goes up. <laughs> you get credit. Okay. So now it's, it, it's accurate right now. You're at, okay, there you go. But wait, you know what? It did nine for that one. Oh. Okay. Okay, I know why. Because so so a lot of times with, with languages, it's just, it, it moves a lot faster than you think, right? So what happens is because that ball is moving so slow. Yeah, uh, it thought it was touching it three times. Exactly. But there's yeah. no way you got 18. No. <laughs> no <laughs> Although I probably deserve 18. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But okay. Um, so what's the easiest way to fix that? Let's see here. Well, you'd have to what? Um, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Can you see where my eyes are looking through the camera? Oh, wait. You're going to use the wait? <laughs> that's the easiest way I can think of. So wait one second because once you change the score, it's not going to check again where it's at until a second later. And by a second and later, it, and then it's going to pass through the purple box. Yes, three Ooh, points. That was a good shot, three and it's points. only three points. That was I'm a good clean. That's like a that that's like a swish, man. What do you think? <laughs> I think that's a swish. You should have a special yeah. swish sound, like if it goes straight through. I gotta call Steph Curry, man. Where's Steph? <laughs> I know. Where is that okay. guy? All right, so what else is new here? Oh, okay, so the last thing we're going to add is in basketball, you don't have all day to shoot, right? How much time do you have to shoot in real basketball? Oh, the shot clock in the NBA is 24. But 24 college, seconds. And I'm a pro. though, so. you get a little longer. Yeah, but, but Hansel and Steph, they're <laughs> used to the 24. So. <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to create another variable. So this might be new to you guys. Uh, we're going to use a, we're going to, well, let's call it shot clock. We are going to use a, a variable which um, is going to go down with time. So that, these, these variables are actually draggable. So I'm actually going to move my shot clock over here. And uh, let's see, shot clock is going to start. We got to initialize it, right? Initialize. 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 Always initialize to 24 because I'm a pro. I'm in the NBA. I, I play pro. NBA level. NBA. We saw that last wish. You're starting to look good a little. <laughs> That's right. I'm getting ready for the Jordans. All right. right. Let's see. 24. So what we need to do is uh, the game ends when it hits zero, but we need to count it down. So the way we yeah. count it down is if you hit uh, sensing, you'll see that Scratch actually has this timer. Ooh. Ooh nice. Interesting. That's so, a nice built-in function, really. 
Yeah, so the timer, let's just check it real quick. Just so we can Ooh. see, it. it's just moving. Like it. It's just always moving. Um, JavaScript, by the way, is notorious for, well, never mind. Forget I even yeah. said that. <laughs> I was gonna have go to this huge long explanation of why this is JavaScript. Okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Rewind, okay. rewind, rewind. Rewind, we're back in, let's just stay in scratch. Right. <laughs> see, how this, see how this timer is still going up? It's kind of driving me crazy, but it's still going up. What we want to do is we want to, every time we reset the timer, what would happen? That'll go to zero, right? I'm just going to click it, zero, see? So we want to reset the timer every time we start. And the shot clock starts at 24, but we want to set the clock. What we, okay, so what, we, what would we set the clock to? The shot clock starts at 24, and we have a timer that starts from zero. So what would we do if we want to count down the shot clock? We probably hmm. got to go 24 minus the timer. That's right. Let's do that. Uh, so we are going right. to set. And so that happens outside of the basketball thing. That's completely separate from the basketball, whether it's touching the, the end or not. Um, we are going to set the timer, shot clock, to... The shot clock. Wait, what, 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 what? 20, so, yeah. Minus, right? Yeah, yeah, 24 minus the timer. Shot clock. Okay, so we are going to set it to, oh, wait, it's not myself. Okay, I'm just going to do 24 exactly, right? Yeah, just do 24 minus the timer. Hey, you know Where what, though? That means that we actually don't need to reset it up. Here. We don't, I actually don't, we need to, we don't need to initialize it because we're setting it all the time. That is true. Right, because we're Good always point. setting it. Yeah. So, hey, look at that. I saved one line of code. I'm so efficient. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Throw that out of there. Out of there. All right. Set shot clock to 24 minus. Go back to sensing minus timer. And that should generally sort of work, but it won't look pretty. But let's try it. Whoa, look at that. That looks oh, yeah, pretty cool. counting down. It is, that looks pretty cool. It is like kind of shifting left and right. So, kids, why do you think it's shifting left and right? Just think real quick. Why is it shifting left and right like that? And now I'll uh, go from kids to Wayne. Why do you think it's shifting left and right like that? Because uh, the decimals, it's going from double digit, single digit. Um, so oh. probably sort of maybe, but also because the way that this, this font is, the ones are skinnier than everything else. Oh, than the right, theater. right, right. So, so the when it shows the number, one. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that yeah. was just some logical thinking here. So but that's the shot clock is yeah, it, 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 yeah, kind of stabilizes a little but Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I'm going to, uh, so this is a little bit annoying how it moves so fast. <laughs> so just an easy way to do this in the scratch is to use a math operator. That's why math is awesome, guys. That's why you guys all should try to get A's in math. Maths. That's, where do they call it math, Wayne? Why is it called maths? <laughs> why is it called math? I was going to say, you know, your son, math, math is, math is awesome. Math is yeah. awesome. Math is so, awesome. You know, math is, in, is awesome, but math is awesome also. <laughs> Double awesome. And Double in English, awesome. they call it maths. In, in, uh, in America, we just call it math, one math. In, in India and in England, they call it maths. <laughs> anyway, maths. It arithmetic. And math. <laughs> arithmetic. Arithmetic. Yes. All right, so we're going to round the timer so that we're not showing all these uh, rounded uh, digits here, or we're not showing all these digits. And let's see how that rolls. Yes, oh, look that at that. That looks better. Oh, that looks better. And now this better. timer is driving me nuts with so much movement. I will take it off. Ah, so much cleaner. Nice. Cool. Now, I guess the one thing that we'll do is we will set this clock to blah, blah, blah. And, and we have one more check. That is to see if the shot clock has rung. So if shot clock is, I'm going to say less than zero. Should I say less than zero or equal to zero? Better say less than. <laughs> yeah, I guess it goes negative. We were watching it, so it does go negative. So if uh, shot clock, if shot clock is less than zero, hello, my. I guess we're gonna end it. <laughs> okay, my gonna end it. Shower, FYI, may Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> she can smell me from there. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing uh, our app stream. Miley, do you want to say hi to all the millions of kids here in the app stream? Okay. You're hilarious here. Oh, and wow, so Miley married. said, okay. This is my non-binary child. Are you going to cut it out? Or no, am I actually you're in actually it? in the end. Oh, there's a face. Oh, yes. 
right. Now Miley is famous. That's right. And, and Steph Curry Miley says hi. Go Steph Curry says hi. He's on the other side of Hampton. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Steph Curry says hi. Okay. So if shot clock is greater than or less than equal zero, then stop all. But let, let's make it. We need a little but like buzzer sound is what we need. But I'm, should I make yeah. a buzzer sound? <laughs> sound. Wow. I'm going to make a buzzer sound. Play sound until done. I'm going to record a new sound. Ooh. Allow my microphone. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> Booyah! 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 Probably means touchdown. Let me see. Okay. Here, I'm going to play it. <laughs> that sounds totally like a buzzer. <laughs> that was NBA level buzzer. Like, yep. I think. I'm going to copyright that and sell it to you, Wayne, if you want to use it. That's right. I, I might buy it. I don't know. Might buy credit it. card, you know. I don't know if Five my credit bucks. card will be worth it. Yeah. So check it out, kids. You guys can record your own voice here and uh, do whatever you want. And so now, um, in this case, I recorded a buzzer, and then we can go back to, and this is under sounds. If we go back to the code, you can see that we should be able to play recording right. one. Ah, but you know what? You probably should have named it better than that. Yes, Otherwise, excellent. I was just going to do that. We won't know what it really is. Buzzer. Buzz. All right, excellent. So we're going to play the buzz until done, meaning it'll play the whole sound file, uh, and then it'll stop everything. So this should be a full game. Let's see if it goes. Okay, so shot clock's going down. Wayne, give me your best Marv Albert, and I will give you the best. Oh, Marv yeah. Albert. He airballed it over the backboard, and it looks like he scored one. Nice hey, shot, he Oh, is that a roll? Is that a roll? <laughs> oh, that was a little bit too hard, too much. Yes, swish. 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 Oh, I'm doing way better than I have ever done. <laughs> roll. One you more. Yes. Right. Oh, that was off the backboard. Off the backboard. I even got the buzz. Actually, maybe okay. we do want to stop it at zero because negative one looks a little goofy. That's right. That's right. Negative one looks totally weird. So we're gonna, just going to stop it at zero here real quick. Uh, let's see if shot clock equals zero, then buzz. All right. Well, cool. I think that'll do it. So that's your game, guys. Play it well and make sure you watch Last Dance. Actually, by the time you guys see the Zap stream, the coming Sunday will be the last two episodes of Last Dance. That's right. I hope you enjoyed this. Jerry, Jimmy, this was yep. for you. Oh, and Steph, if you're out there, give Hansel a call. He'll Thanks, take you on one-on-one. -on -one. Five right there. Ah. <laughs> That's right. Right off the side of the screen. Thanks, man. That's right. All right. Thanks, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Hansel, founder and CEO of The Coder School. This I is am Wayne. Wayne, COO, and happy coding. Peace out. Aloha. Shaka shaka.